Good morning. All right, everybody, thank you for your patience. We will get started with Mark Weiser and Anthony Dasher. Hey, Lewis, how's it going? Doing great, yourself. Good, good. Um, I want to ask you, I guess you played, uh, I guess it was one high school season in, in Texas. Um, and and uh, I guess that's your that's kind of your home state now, right? W what are your uh, thoughts on Texas joining the SEC as well as Oklahoma? What, what do you think uh, those schools might bring to this conference? Mm, they bring something different. You know, we know the they're known for offense, um, you know, scoring a whole lot of points and making big plays in terms of passing. Um, that's that's bringing something new to SEC because SEC is a very defensive uh, conference where it's defense first. So I feel like this is uh, something different we're going to be. We're going to see. Hey, Lewis, good to see you, man. Good to uh, ask you about uh, about JT just a little bit as far as uh, some of these 7-7 seven, seven, uh, summer drills you had or, uh, you know, went on. I understood he like, kind of likes to, to talk a little bit out there, kind of good-natured ribbing, I guess, to the – secondary or the set defense kind of wonder if that's something you can kind of talk about a little bit uh so it's it's probably uh both it goes both ways um it's kind of he's a competitor and uh once he makes a good play he's gonna talk and uh once i make a good play i'm gonna talk to him also so it kind of um, keeps the fire going and makes practice fun and just one quick follow-up was there been anybody on as far as receivers goes that maybe kind of gave, gave you some trouble during seven on sevens never Never? Okay. No. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right, up next, let's go to Charles Odom and then Mike Griffith. Well, so I'm wondering, are you a uh, NFL draft guy? Do you like to watch it? And if you did watch it this year, what was it like seeing all your secondary guys going off the board? Oh, it, it was amazing, man, because uh, you play with those guys and you know what? You know them on a personal level, not just um, football. You know what I mean? Uh, so it's like to see them finally get drafted, and um, that's something they've wanted to reach their whole life. That's a goal of theirs. And to see them finally reach that, it it's, uh, brings joy to my heart. And also, um, next year, or which whenever it is, um, I also wish the same for myself and the other guys I'm playing with. It's going to be an amazing thing. Uh, hey, Lewis, I know uh, you probably watched a little bit of Clemson film and, and they have a new quarterback. Um, what have you seen and what are some of the things uh, about that Clemson team that you expect to be a uh, challenge in the opener? Um, of course, as we already know, they're a very explosive team. Um, they bring a whole lot, um, a whole lot of trouble to a lot of teams. They played a lot of big name teams. They played and they've won a whole lot of big games. So it's something we're really focused on in terms of watching film. What, with me, I'm watching a whole lot of film on them. Their quarterback, he's very big, explosive. He can run, very strong arm, has a cannon. He has, you know, he brings a whole lot uh, to the table for their offense, and uh, it's a challenge. So uh, it's something that we really need to focus on and we will focus on. All right, up next, let's go to Seth Emerson and then Chip Towers. Hey, Lewis. Uh, if you remember back this time last year, we weren't sure there was going to be a season. There's a lot of debate over whether there should be a season. Now this year, a year later, looking back, number one, was it worth it in your mind to have that season? And number two, where we are now with all the changes in, in college football, did that kind of help make it worth it? It was worth it, in my opinion. Um, worth it in a lot of ways. Uh, coaches got to coach. Players got to play, and um, a lot was done with, um, you know, the circumstances at that time. Well, now, you know, there's vaccines where there's – true, there might be a whole lot of um, outbreaks right now, but I think it's more controllable than last time. So um, we know – we kind of know what to expect now, and uh, we're going to move forward accordingly the best way possible. So this year can be a success. Yeah, Lewis, uh, I, I asked the inevitable question, I guess, uh, about the two transfer additions, uh, Tyke and DK. Um, what have been – you've probably had the best vantage point of anybody of how those guys are, are fitting in. What, what has been your view of that? And, and um, uh, you know, you talked about watching all those guys go in the NFL draft. 
how well do you think this is going to address it along with the younger guys having to step up? Repeat that one more time. How, how do you th think they're going to be able to address all those guys you referred to leaving in the NFL draft, uh, uh, the addition to them, and the young guys, of course? Um, before I go, um, I like your cut. I like your haircut. <laughs> uh, little <true> nice. <laughs> I like yours, too. Thank you. Man. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you. Uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, we, we did lose a whole lot of, a whole lot of talent, a whole lot of guys from last year, but, um, I feel like we've made up in a big way, uh, with young guys we have, you know what I mean? So, um, we use what we have, even if it may be getting guys from other places, but, um, we use them to their strengths. We use them the best way we can. And, um, we're getting better and better every day. Um, 1% at a time. And that's all that matters at the end of the day. But Tyke and, and Darian Kendrick in particular, what have been your views of those two guys fitting in? Um, they're who they say they are. Um, you know, um, we, we kind of knew what we were getting and based off of practices and everything we've kind of been doing and workouts or whatever. Um, they're, they're sound guys and they bring a whole lot to the table. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Up next, Dean Leggy and then Ryan Curley. Lewis, I wanted to ask about JT's confidence. Um, that's been discussed this morning. Uh, what's it like dealing with him in seven on seven or just in uh, straight up regular practice when he's hitting guys and making plays? Um, JT's a different kind of quarterback in a way because he brings a whole lot of swag also to um, he, he brings a California swag with him. Um, he's very laid back, but um, but he knows when to enjoy, enjoy the moment, enjoy the time. And um, during practices or whatever, um, once he makes big plays or probably a mistake, he's very, he knows how to carry himself when things aren't going well and when they are going well. And that's one thing I, I really like about him. And um, he's really has taken command as a quarterback and he has all of our respect. Hey, Lewis, who are, who in the secondary are we not talking about enough? Everybody seems to want to talk about Tyke Smith and Darian Kendrick. Who, who should, who else should we be highlighting? Mm, good question. Um, I think we're going to see more of the, more of the young guys, you know what I mean? To see what, um, what the young guys have to offer and, um, you know, what they bring to the table. Of course, with fall camp, um, a lot of people are going to get to see that and they're going to get talked about them talked about more um but i feel it's mostly the the younger guys i can't say any names in particular but because they all do different things and bring different type of skill and uh to the table but those are the kind of the, the younger guys all right up next let's go to connor riley and then vance levy Hey, Lewis, I wanted to ask you about another transfer you guys brought in, or Rick Gilbert. What have you seen so far from him in seven-on-seven -seven drills? You guys have worked with him. Um, he's as advertised. Um, he brings a whole lot to, to the table in, in terms of offense. He's big. He can move. He's, he's a big kid, and he, he can really move. Um, he, he's a very talented, talented guy, you know what I mean? And uh, quiet, real quiet, but he, he – he does his business. He knows what he's here for. And um, pretty much it. Hey, Lewis, uh, since January, we've heard a lot of talk about everyone finding out their why. Are you willing to share what your why is? And then on the field, uh, what would you say is your biggest strength? And then as you go on into the next, this season, what, what do you think you need to work on the most? Um, why? Uh, we do this thing here, it's called Skull Sessions. It's, uh, you know, working our core values as a team. And the why is a very big important thing because when things get hard or gets tough, your why kind of pushes you. And I would say my why is, of course, my mom and my daughter. Um, those, those two people are my why. And, you know, um, when things get hard, I kind of can push myself because I know my mom has been through th through things for me and um, she never complained and she just kept pushing through. And of course, my daughter, she's someone that I'm going to go through a brick wall for 
Um, but in terms of on the field, my strengths might be are that um, I I'm everywhere at all times. That's pretty much what I can say. I'm everywhere at all times. Um, I'm willing to do the hard things. You know, a lot of guys aren't willing to stick their nose in there, and I'm willing to do that. Uh, one, I I need to be more vocal, in my opinion, and uh, I'm working on that. That's something I'm working on every day, and uh, it'll work its work its, work its way out. All right, we have time for one more question, and we'll go to Jed May. Yeah, Lewis, I guess just following up on, on the why question there, I mean, have there been times maybe last year or over the summer, whatever, where, you know, thinking of your mother and, and your daughter has really, I guess, gotten you out of a tough spot or, or really helped you push? I mean, are there any specific moments you can think of where they really helped you out mentally? <laughs> Team run. <laughs> Team run, oh, my gosh. Uh, team run really tests us mentally. Well, it tests me mentally. I mean, uh, I, in my opinion, I think I'm very well conditioned, but uh, we get uh, obstacles and challenges thrown our way a whole lot. And uh, the best way for me is to probably think about them and to adjust the best way I can to push through and, you know, win, um, I would say. And that's pretty much it. 